high third grade. So we're going to be doing our reading and our writing in the same video. Okay, we're going to be reading the top of her game, Scholastic News. Inside of this article, we're going to be looking at the sky's the limit. So we're going to be working with this article. I'm sorry, this is just... And we're going to be answering the close reading questions. And then I have a writing assignment for you guys to do. Remember, once you do your work, you take a picture and you send it through Dojo or you can send it to my email. And you can always pause the video so you can jot down some information that you need, okay? So we're going to start with... So if you haven't listened to this article yet, to the sky's the limit, please pause the video and go back and listen to it. We're going to go over the vocabulary words. You can listen to this first before listening to the article or you can just listen. All right. So here we go. Okay, there we go. So professional, related to doing something for money. Many of today's professional baseball players make millions of dollars per year. Postponed, put off till later. Emily's birthday pool had to be postponed because of the weather. Eventually. In the end, especially after a long period of time, an apple core eventually rots away. Folk tales, old stories that are passed on by word of mouth rather than in writing. Andrew loved hearing old folk tales from his grandfather. Okay, so once you've read the article, we're going to answer our close reading questions so i wrote them here here we have our questions and here remember we always turn the question around this is a skill you will need throughout your school years after you graduate even in college you're going to always need to make sure that you write in complete sentences okay we always go over this so our first question is why does the author refer to sky as a professional skateboarder so remember the word professional means a person who earns money for doing something so we're going to turn this question around the author refers to sky as a professional because so if you read the article what does she do she skates she goes around and she she goes on tournaments right so she makes money for that so the author so professional means that a pro person wins money, so that means that Sky wins money. So the author refers to Sky as a professional skateboarder because she also gets paid for doing it, and she's also having fun. So you can write, besides having fun, she gets paid for doing it. Question number two. What is the section Bored Baby mostly about? So we're going to go into our article. We're going to find that subheading, Bored Baby. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to condense this passage and we're going to put it into our own words. Okay, so Sky was born in Japan and began skating when she was two years old. She didn't have to go far. Her family had a small skating ramp in the yard. My dad was always skating and I wanted to get on board just like him, Sky says. I'm sure I felt a lot in the beginning. I was soon it was soon clear that Sky had incredible talent. When she was 7, she began skating in competitions around the world. Last summer, she won a top prize at a big skateboarding world championship in Brazil. So this section is mostly about how Sky's father inspired her to start skateboarding, right? It tells us about when she began skating in competitions and winning competitions. So we're going to turn the question around. The section is mostly about Sky's father and how he inspired her to do what she does. And it ta also talks about her skateboarding championships in Brazil. So you're going to come and you're going to take those words and you're going to put it into your own and finish this, this sentence, okay? Number three, what is the purpose of the sidebar? What is your game plan? So let's look at the sidebar here, right here in the bottom, right? So it's, this is how, this is a way of, of her telling you how to make your summer better without worrying about people. It says, try new things. You just might find you like the activity as 
as Sky loves skating. Don't worry about what others think. And three, don't be afraid to fall. So we're getting advice, right? Advice to not worry about what people think, to do things that you like to do, that you enjoy doing. So you're going to take that and you're going to put it into your own words using the sentence frame I gave you. The sidebar is mostly about doing things that I like to do and not being afraid to do it and not being and not thinking about what anybody thinks about it. I, I like to do it and I'm going to do it. So that's what that little sidebar is about. Now, I want you to go ahead and write these in the paper. You're going to need a pencil on the paper for this. So um, complete these and send them to me now. As you're writing assignment, I want you to think about, because we're, we're talking about how she was so young and she had dreams of being a skateboarder and she really got to, to do what she dreamt of. What about you? The question that I'm asking you is, what are your dreams for the future? Do you have a special talent? So here's a word bank. We have different professions. Okay, so a police, a pilot, a fireman, a doctor, office worker, a swimmer, a farmer, a farmer, a singer, a priest, a nurse, football player, a teacher, a baseball player. I forgot the ER here for player. Let's write that really quickly. A manager, an artist, a mail carrier police, pilot. So these are all different things. There's more. You can always research what you like to do. You research and you look for the right word and you can ask the right questions and you get the right answers. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to kind of give me a, a paragraph, five sentences of what you dream of being and why, what is it that you like? Did you do something that was really cool? Um, I wrote something. So as a child, my dreams were to be a teacher. This was my sister. She was always my student. She couldn't be the teacher because I was a teacher. So I would make tests for her and I would have her sit down and complete the work. So I wrote something. As a child, my sister and I dreamt about being a nurse and a teacher. My sister would play doctor and I was her patient. I would play as a teacher and she would be my student. As we grew up, we followed our dreams. Today, I work teaching you wonderful children, and my sister works helping the sick at a hospital. You can be what you dream of being. Okay? So that's just my story. I can't wait to hear about your story and what you dream to be for the future. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys later. Till next time. Oh, one more thing. We have um, another, another little three-question so I want you to look at this, to look at the sheet that you are gonna um, look for in your in your work, and we're gonna only do number one, number two, and number three. For each question, we're gonna fill in the circle to um, that's the correct answer. So number one, Sky Brown will likely agree that blank is important when trying to improve a skill. So over here, the word improve means to make better, right? So if Sky Brown would agree that something is going to make her skill better, what do you think it is? Is it luck? Is it motivation? Is it money? Or is it weather? If you chose B, you're right, motivation. When you're motivated to do something, it's exciting for you. So there's more of odds that you'll, that you'll get to do it or that you'll, you'll achieve your goal. So number two. Part B, which detail best supports the answer to question one? So our answer was that motivation is important when you're trying to improve a skill, right? So I'll give you a second in case you haven't answered that one. Is it A, suddenly she launches herself into the air from the top of a ramp? Is that talking about motivation? Num B, it was soon clear that Sky had incredible talent. Is this is that motivating? Mm, let's see. Let's see the next ones. Then she spends hours perfecting new tricks at area state parks. 
She spends hours perfecting. Mm. And let's look at D. She makes time to see friends and play video games. That's definitely not motivating her to be a great skateboard, skateboard girl, huh? So if you chose C, you're right. She spends hours perfecting because her motivation is to be a skateboarder. So she goes and she spends hours trying to make her moves perfect. So that is motivation. Number three, a citizen. First, let's look at what citizen means. So citizen, a person who lives in a place or belongs to a country. Let's see now what the question is asking us. A citizen is someone who blank. A, speaks many languages. B, travels to many different countries. C, enjoys skateboarding. Or D, has lived in, was born, or has parents in a certain country. Well, we just looked at the definition, right? And the, it's not someone that speaks many languages. We're not talking about traveling or enjoying something. So if you chose D, you're right. Has lived in, was born in, or has parents from a certain country. All right, guys. So now we're done. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.